Hey everybody, welcome into the Pugger Reborn channel. I'm your host, Reborn, and we are back with another Let's Play as the Beast Ledger. Guys, we have some interesting things here. Obviously, our last um, video, too, was a... <laughs> it was a little discouraging on my end, to be completely honest. But being that we're back in here, we do have the next step and the next upgrade to our team. And what does that exactly mean? Well, it's called a fresh start. Not in the gameplay itself, but in terms of the outlook. First off, we did make some name changes. We have Willy One-Eye. Uh, yeah, he lost his eye in the last episode. Surprisingly, did not die, but in hopes that maybe he does <laughs> soon. Or at least holds up long enough. Um, yeah, this guy is... I don't, I don't even know. Willy One-Eye. Uh, or you can call him One-Eye Willy. Hey. Uh, so everybody else is is pretty good. Bandai, <laughs> oh the third. I wonder how many times we're gonna jack this number up. I do hope we end up with a Bandai memorable, but that didn't change so much. It was more that we changed uh, our uh, our thief. We changed his name. We didn't give him a name. It was Wilfred. I ended up behind scenes here. Ended up making it Cheddar the Sneak. Uh, Cheddar. I don't really have much hope for him personally, but if we can build him up with Dodge and this initiative, you know, obviously this is our chance right here is to just make him a, a Dodge freak. Uh, the only thing that sucks about that, however, is we don't have Relentless that I'm looking at here. I don't see Relentless. But I figured there are some perks to make him unique, whereas the the normal game is it doesn't do that so much what I mean by that is just some of the perks here camouflage we can we can get him in uh, some other helpful uh, setups let's see here like the I don't know that we want to go lone wolf but blend in uh, makes your enemies 50% less likely to uh, attack you instead of an ally that could be beneficial honestly <clears throat> uh, besides that fleet foot wouldn't be or fleet foot fleet foot that's great uh sprint but you'll be able to sprint right up to somebody there are some other things that we can do let's see initiative and fatigue if we can get his fatigue up and high and so on it grants that 25 percent chance to daze on any and a hit of any weapon we're gonna build this guy unique if we can if he dies well he dies cheddar let's see if you can survive we have a chance to do something different now with this playthrough we need food. That's going to be the number one thing. This playthrough, again, hasn't exactly been uh, a a star by no means. But we do have a chance. We, we haven't lost everything just yet. <laughs> there, there is a, a shred of hope on the horizon yet. Witch burnings. I've been waiting for this. I actually have. I hate it because we're not going to be able to afford a witch hunter unless we get incredibly lucky. That is the luck that I'm looking for, except, yeah, oh, you know what, a historian. That would be pretty sweet to have as well. I, I really want a witch hunter. I absolutely love witch hunters. The swamp terrain, they get the modifier there, the crafting modifying, gathering modifying, uh, you know, fletching. There's a modifier. There's a bunch of modifiers, obviously. The only thing that sucks is they don't get more stash than just one stash added. But we are, if, if I can, <laughs> if I can swing it, I'd love to get one of these guys. Not saying we are, but we will see. Um, yeah, I, was, I couldn't remember if this guy, the militia, I, I love militias in this game. One of my favorite classes early on. You can find pretty cheap militia, or militiamen. But for now, let's get rid of some of this stuff. And food-wise... Man, these guys need food, it looks like. I'm actually wondering if we sell the cheese. We only got nine left. Our, our, we need cheese. I mean, we need, or we need something. Uh, kind of a trade-off here. So it's like getting grain at the regular price for really two days uh, of, uh, of having food. Let's see, sorry. Looking into some of this, you know, I'm always about the opportunity of getting more armor, too. If I could get this Kettle Helm, that would be fantastic. And uh, uh, the Gambeson is also a fantastic thing to have this early. I'm going to look at our brothers here. 
Obviously, we upgraded in the last episode this padded leather. For the, for what it's worth, I think that that was the right move. Uh, Dawson, we want to continue to get him to the next level. I absolutely love Dawson's potential. Obviously, between melee skill and this defense, he can ride out into the late game. The only thing that I'm worried about is that resolve. Dawson, you you could be something, but please don't turn into the Bappy. Oh, the Bappy. Bandai. The Bappy. I didn't even tell you guys about that yet. If you're wondering what the Bappy is, it was this thing made up a while ago. I actually made, I did a run that was called the Bappy Clan, and it was based on the, what is it called, the, the Cultist run. So anybody in that, was anyone in my band of guys was called the Bappy. <laughs> Bappy, are you my pappy? That's kind of what we would always say. My brother and I, we, we kind of joked around about that. So we might we might actually do a bappy thing. But for now, we are going to take... It sucks. We're going to move on. We we are going to take a ride for two days. But, man, if we if I could just swing and get one of these guys... I, I have an obsession. I don't think everybody's going to agree with this, and that's totally fine. But I have an obsession with this type of character, the, the Witch Hunters. They have one special uh, thing that it's like a, what, what do you call it? Like a, a mission of sorts. And the mission can give you a famed sword. You, It's Hogart. In the beginning you fight Hogart and he comes back to life is my understanding. Anyways, what it, what it pretty much entails is you get I think I'm just gonna do it. This is crazy. We don't really have. I'm. Well, let's see actually how much. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's tough. But I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I really want a, uh, a hunter. So, like I was saying, what ultimately happens is, you. You end up doing something with the mission of Hogar, and then you can are allowed to get a famed sword, a two-handed sword. Now, this famed sword you can get it at any point in the game. Like, we could just be playing within the next five days and come across it. Or we could get into the ultra late game and not find it, and not find it period. Another thing would be nice as a historian. Hi, they. That's tough. We could get two guy, a refugee, and uh, a historian, but I just I just have to. I, I gotta do this. Ooh, another one here. Uh, juggler's not bad, especially for the bartering. But I'm gonna, I have to do it. I keep saying it, but we're gonna do it right now. There we go. All right. We have, <laughs> we have a beast hunter. Unfortunately, unfortunately, his fatigue is complete shite. So, let's do this. I'm going to finally give Bappy the opportunity. Oh, I keep saying Bappy. What the heck? Uh, see, I got the whole, I got that all caught up in my head now. Uh, we're gonna take this. We're gonna make a little bit of a change here. So, granted, the hunting bow is gonna be better than the light crossbow. I love crossbows, period, just in general. Uh, the damage output is a little bit different, a 10 off difference, and more ignoring army, armor through this. But we are gonna stick with the hunting bow just for the, just for the aim, da the aim shot. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm just kinda looking at this. It's interesting. I don't look at it enough, honestly. And then back to Puggo. So Puggo, like I said, we want Puggo to turn into the champion if we can. He does have plenty of good here in terms of what he's wearing and so on. Uh, mm, yeah, we're gonna do this. We just need to. We just need to outfit these guys correctly. Now, oh geez, Puggo, what the heck happened? Holy crap, his head. Dude, I I would I I would wear that hat as long as you possibly can. That's not me being mean, that's just me looking out for you. Oh wait, my bad. Let's go like this. There we go. Okay. Jeez man, that is rough. That is really rough. <laughs> um I don't see that Max is a the long lasting guy, so I'm going to make this subtle change here. Unfortunately, we are going to throw him into the slaughter. I know that that's maybe not ideal within reason, but 
I just can't get behind this stuff here, these stats, uh, for the later game, even mid-game. I, I feel like we are well in doubt to find something better. In the meantime, why don't we just have him hack and whatever. This side is probably going to die out, but we'll have uh, Puggo do the, the dangerous deeds of taking out our competition. All right, everything's set. We have the beat. Oh, we never named him anything either. So what do we name Ulrich? Ulrich. You know what? Ulrich. I'm, I'm actually liking that. Uh, the witch tower. The witch tower, huh? Ulrich the witch tower. The, you know what? The watchtower. Watchman, wait, wait. Wait, the watchman. We're gonna go with the watchman today. I don't know why. Ulrich the watchman. I have no idea why that sounds good, but it does. I do want to use pug names, but for some reason that just is sticking in my head. So, now, with our with our money situation, we are going. We can always get web later, and there's plenty of dire wolves to come across. We are living in a world that has changed our perspective. Obviously, oh wait a minute, here we go. Can we finish this out? No, we can't. All we need less left is fletching. So we need to once we come across the fletching camp. Now, does this show me where it is? We're going to the northeast so it's probably right here we just can't see it behind this map here oh, I can't actually what did it there was a way to huh okay let's just continue here we go alright um, alright sorry about that guys uh, I accidentally pressed the wrong button here for recording um, so we did we just as we were going just as I pressed the button on accident we had this event happen obviously if you haven't come across this before, we're going to get ourselves a dog. Mm, we need a mascot. Let's get him. We gained Battle Brother. Sweet. Okay. I'm going to save the game quick, just in case. Save Scum. You know how it goes. Alright. Okay. So, again, I love that we are utilizing... We're utilizing this opportunity in using the trade caravans. This has been a trade caravan mission. We've been more of a trade caravan uh, people than we have been... Ooh, wow, they had some die makers taken out. We've been more of a trade caravan company than we have been actual bee slayers. But I want it to be clear that while we are trying to be bee slayers, we're trying to outfit our guys to be bee slayers, it must be noted that the ultimate part of this is that they have they lost their brothers they had lost their witch hunters they didn't care about the things going on in the world what they cared about was um, just beasts simple as that there was nothing more that they they wanted but to take out beasts this is actually pretty sweet this apprentice I would love to have a hedge knight right now hopes and dreams okay but either way they realize that the real threat is the humans so in order to overcome that oh man I really want to do this but to, in order to overcome that they need to take on the world and what's presented a challenge to them it's not about just beasts anymore later on we'll make it about some more beasts we will take that that uh, leap of faith into the next level of things Hopefully, my goal in this playthrough is less getting to the final, like the monolith, as it is going against the Kraken. That, to me, is vastly beneficial to our to our plan. It just makes sense, right? Oh, man, Willie. Willie, my man. You have a, still that grazed eye socket on top of the missing eye. Plucked your eye straight out. That's unfortunate for you. Let's give him a little bit of defense. Oh, not that. Let's go back. We're gonna go. Give him resolve. I don't want him. I don't want him uh, letting loose in his pants over over what's going on. Um, more health? No. Well, he could be spongy if we do that. I want him to be able to hit something. I don't care what his bottom line is. I want him to hit something. 
Holy cow. 100% debuff to the eye or to the range. I don't know why. I feel like something's not right with the stats here. I don't know what it is. Okay. Fast adaptation. Eventually, he's going to hit somebody. And Cheddar. Cheddar's first level up. Wow, they really wanted to be an archer in this. I don't, personally. Okay, you know what? We're going to cancel that. We need to go here, here, and... Hmm. The fatigue would be helpful, too. But I want to upgrade this. His attacking. His chance of hitting somebody has to be up. Now, again, Cheddar is not going to be a long-lasting brother for me. I don't want him to be. So instead of focusing on making him a beast hunter, I'm going to focus on having him be a... Like, maybe like fast adaptation, the backstabber, also with the alert. We want him to have that dodge stat up. For now, I'm going to have fast adaptation. We're going to go this route, and, the, and then we'll switch over and do these. Again, he's not a late game, or mid game even, in my opinion. So, oh wait, we should have, there it is. Okay, sorry guys, I like this on my end. I love watching these things. This weapon, I'm not sure what is different about this besides the one less fatigue. Oh, his max fatigue is a lot less, so it's really lightweight. I personally, I just love looking at that. That's one of my favorite things in this game. Yes, the gameplay is fantastic. I, I could never complain or say anything bad about that part of it. But it's these, it's what you can come across, the little gems you come across, like this right here. If you have a brother who doesn't have a lot, like needs the fatigue buff, like this is it. Look at this. You're talking about a cell sword's armor at 32 to 25 uh, max fatigue change on this mercenary coat. Imperishable mercenary coat. Just absolutely fantastic. I, I just love marveling over these things. Sorry, I should probably do it on off camera for that, but it is it is really cool. Okay. Now the battle battle brother has to go in somewhere. I almost wonder if I put it on one of these guys and they die. Then Battle Brother can jump out and do his thing. He can just straight up attack people. That would be pretty cool. Traveler's Tash. Hmm. I just, I want, like, if one of these guys dies, I'm going to give it to Max. So if he dies, then there's at least a backline to, to save Puggo if I have to make him run. I don't know that I'm going to need to, but maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, with all that being said, we can look to hire. This is great. All win. Two level ups. That's, that's beautiful. I, I love Squires early on. Oh yeah, caravan hands. Uh, messengers are great. Look at all the modifiers you get for messengers. Sorry, again, I'm marveling over all of this stuff. Uh, a grave robber is fantastic as well. Their events are great. Yeah, this is just, this is tough. This is tough. I feel like we should go another brother. I'm stacking up on brothers early game. If you can get the, if you can get the jump on the early game brothers, or having a bunch of brothers in the early game, you're going to be doing yourself a massive favor. Hmm, what else? What else do we got here? Anything of... Gear is good, too. That would be worth it. Man, there's some interesting things here. Having a male early. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Okay, so... This is where it becomes debatable. We could give, like, Dawson... We could give a much better armor. We could actually just switch these two guys around between Gus and Dawson. Obviously our core right now is Gus, Dawson, uh, Ulrich, and Puggo. The other ones, they can all die. I don't particularly care. Unless one of them steps up. I'm all about that step up. But we need to go either that or we can get a caravan hand. Let's go with the sure thing. I like... I want to I wanna be able to build around what's good in the clan. What's good in the clan right now would be a male coat. This is pretty early. I mean, I, I didn't actually see what day we're on, but 
we're gonna do we're gonna give our guys the best chance of survival with what they have okay they're both 88 for that perk wise now Dawson doesn't have the brawny perk which is unfortunate I would love to have him have the brawny perk okay all right let's get moving on everything oh wait sorry one more thing we do want the sliding of you cheddar you're the second most valuable um, and then from there really only thing I can do is give him this I just don't want to waste the tunic when we have other people that can we can slide that in once they die okay and we are off I think just out of curiosity let's just see what the terrain holds out here nothing okay I want to get back south we need to make friends with other 91 crowns this early for 91 crowns is quite a bit but that's what you're getting when you have eight brothers and three of or two of them are beast hunters beast slayers I should say I want to apologize also for the little bit of feedback going on with the keys and so on. I, I'm realizing now that I can hear it a lot more, and even with the mouse. Okay, we could take on a cottage deal here. Let's see, or deliver a package. Wow, three days to the northwest. That's going to be a heck of a hike. We don't have the cash right now for that. I 800 crowns if we can complete this. Again, we got to know when to hold them, when to fold them, and to walk away. Gotta love that. A little bit of... Who was it that said that? Not Johnny Cash. It was, uh... Gosh, she has a lot of Botox. <laughs> I can't think of the guy's name. Jeez. I can't think of it. Alright. So we can go... We don't really have much to choose from. I think Dozen Men is going to be the fastest. A few brigand... Ah, yeah. We should be fine. We have some throwaway guys. Let's... If we can get the high ground, let them come to us. Which they will based on the fact that we have the arch. Okay, we're all just gonna be on the high ground. That's, that's cool. Um, I think we need to slide down one. Okay. Do we just run in? What are they, what are we working with? I mean, this would be fantastic, this raider down here. They all have stuff that we want. We're going to get some sort of gear. I'm not too worried about, like, overdoing it. Our best asset is just to wait, I feel like. I feel like waiting is going to be... Okay. Okay, everybody... We're going to slide right yeah we're going to slide just like that just off to the side a little bit I'm really thinking this through because I see what what we're really looking at here is these guys here this is a definitely right here. Well, that was a great shot oh if you could have hit him again okay now you suck there we go boom that's a good that's a good deal now if I jump forward and I hit him that takes him because he was the first to go last time I know that Puggo has got good he's got he's gonna have good a good chance to hit him hmm <laughs> I could sacrifice him get the kill they would surround him I think that's how we're gonna play this out. Yeah, let's just see. Oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay, and then be the hero. Be the hero of this tale. Okay, you are not the hero. Sadly, what was what was the percentage? Forty-one, actually. I'm kind of surprised by that. I didn't think it would be that good. Now again, throw away brothers. I'm okay with it. It's all situational. Okay, here we go. Now, he, now, the bandit thug, seven turns, 14 turns, nine turns, seven turns, yep, four turns. Now again, Bandai is a throwaway as well. So if I, I'm, tr hmm, 
strategically, let's go here. Dawson has the best defense. I could throw the dog out. Oh, who is that? Is that that's got to be? No, that's not Battle Brothers. He's who's got Battle Brothers? You have Max as Battle Brothers. Huh? I, like I said, I love maximizing. Maximize, maximize. Yep. Okay. Now, when do you go? Nine turns. Again, I'm just... Oh, okay, that's killer. Holy crap, you survived that. Huh, that's funny. Oh, hopeful. Okay. Max, you're in a bad position. And so is Bandai. Might be your time, Bandai. Oh, okay. Um... Wow, you're already... Oh, I missed an 80% chance. 85. That's all the dice rolls here. Ha, sucker. Okay, you are not where I want you to be. Okay. Ha, yes. Okay. This is what I'd really like to kill right now. Just that range. But we've done well with that. Um, chances are he kills him. He kills one-eyed Willy. There we go. For his That's what I want. We're going to... Oh, man. Now, listen. Again, I am not going to advocate for the RNG side of things, but we have been very unlucky, unfortunately. There we go. That's perfect. That's perfect. If he's running, we can go for headshots now. The only way that we fall back... Perfect, man. Okay, well, we're hitting the dodges. And this, this Bandai, you do not want to... You, do, you have a purpose. And that is just to keep us going a little bit longer. Yes. Just hurt them a little. That's all I care about. Yep. Perfect. If I could just get that kill. Okay, so far. This has worked pretty well. I mean, I need to start helping out now. I'm gonna wait before we move. Um, I'm gonna again wait. Dang man, Bandai. Did, was it was it strike down or did we actually did Bandai actually die? No, Bandai is definitely dead. Well, God God rest her soul. She was um she was something. She was definitely something. Okay. Now, situationally, again, we need to get as much firepower on them as possible. Okay. If, yeah, we're not going to keep that armor here. Oh, come on. That's alright. Okay, good. Can't do anything. Okay, dog. Yes. Now, I'm thinking we can probably throw that. Perfect. We want to get their their morale down. I think... Obviously, he's the more dangerous. But I figure with his... Oh, God, no. Oof. Yeah, that does suck. Dazed. I absolutely love Dave's is one of my favorite debuffs. We might actually do a brother specifically for dazing characters. I actually I was gonna do obviously that one perk I was talking about earlier. 
is ideal, but yeah, let's run down. Perfect. Um, yeah, we're just gonna wait. Please be able to, you can't catch him. Just kind of move in his direction. Oh no! Dog. Yes, make your way. I'm surprised some of the fatigue on some of the brothers really got to got out of hand here. Can you you cannot man well you really burnt your fatigue too. Boom, there we go. Sorely needed before all oh, perfect. The botch canvason, I'll take it. All this, I mean, that even like this little upgrade. I mean, we're looking at a thousand, thousand dollars, or a thousand crowns, I should say. And absolutely love the wooden flail early on. We did lose Bandai, so Bandai, the legend goes on. <laughs> the legend of Bandai, Max, you are relentless. I don't know why he keeps going, but he does. Not mad about it, by no means. Okay, so I'm going to try to protect him. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Simple as that. But we are sure worth the try. While we have him, I could give him gifted. What do we do? What what can we do for him? For Bandai? Or not Bandai, see? Oh my gosh, maybe he turns into Bandai. But, uh, probably not, probably not. Okay, so we want to maximize him. He isn't going to be a forever character. If we do give him gifted, it just adds on to the backstabber. Convincing proposals, the bartering skill right now, he's not forever. So, let's go with the bartering skill. So, we get a 2.5 add, and then Ulrich gets his first level up. Thank you, my good sir. We love you, we love you, we love you. Mm, that's a good pull for hit points. Um, ah, that's tough. Range defense. I, I'm telling you right now, range defense is such a big deal, especially later. But I'm gonna go hit points here. He's he's an archer for now. That that much is so. I do want to give him path, pathfinder, but let's get him a boost with student, and then here cheddar. I don't know, I was a little nervous about why with Cheddar, but no, I'm not. Let's give him back stab. I thought he was going to die during those hits, but he didn't, luckily. I say luckily, and I do mean luckily. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go initiative. More health wouldn't be bad. Being able to hit something is better. Not being hit is helpful. Hmm feel like hit points makes the most sense for him continuing uh, because he's a backliner guy let's just give him a better chance to hit something yeah that's fair all right back to the front line we do have some better gear now 70 gear is perfect we need Mac I don't know Max you're growing on me a little bit I hate I hate it I don't want you to grow on me like I want you to stop growing on me I, oh, that's so dumb. I just... Max, max, max. Okay, now we've got the next tier. The Felshin. Mm, but we do have the Boar Spear. W what are we thinking here? Again, I, I like maximizing our hits. I'm gonna, give the, I'm gonna give the Boar Spear to Max. If he's gonna be on a team, he's gotta be useful. The only way he's useful is giving him a better shield giving him the bow or the uh, the boar spear uh, again we're upgrading across the board here you sir what can we do the glaive is nice we have a flail we might as well use that the fel the felshin should be used as well with the glaive and its damage it's better against armor Tui. Okay. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. In terms of this, he needs better melee skill. 
I'm gonna give Gus the flail. This turd right here, I, I'm going to upgrade him a little bit. I'm, I'm stuck on this, guys. I'm really stuck on this. I'm wondering, Willie, what are we doing with you, man? You don't have the melee skill. You, it does build up. The hits to the head made him useful. I'm gonna continue that method. If he dies, he dies. If he dies, he dies. I need to get that sound bite for this. I can just hit a button and then he'll roll with that. Uh, the this, this sword we'll give to Dawson, the Felshin. Mm, and what else? short sword. I'm going to hold on to that. Well, we have other brothers that we can come across. That'll be helpful. Uh, just because Cheddar can stick around with us, we will give him better gear. This freaking turd right here. Th you're going to get the thick tunic. I don't know why. I honestly don't think you deserve it. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Like I said, a lot of downtime just thinking about what to do. But it is. it does matter, guys. I mean, when it comes right down to it, in this, in this instance, we need, again, the best case scenario going forward. Ooh, another beast hunter. See, look at these, look at these terrain modifiers. Okay. Uh, ooh, we got some, we got some really nice things here. Let's look at some of these guys. We got plenty of money, so we can better resolve. He should, based on this character in the Legends mod, he does get a really good buff to his melee. Uh, no, we don't want that. I could go with the minstrel. The bartering, you know, again, bartering has been such... holy cow. Problematic here. This is problematic. The, I see the good in him. Okay, I do. I see the good in him right here. That is fantastic. He's got the fatigue. It's reduced to... F oh, okay, never mind. I, I struggle with this, though, because what is his melee? I mean, literally, we just put a shield behind him and he'd tank. That'd be the only reason that we'd get him. And, yeah. So, I think we're gonna go... We will go with him. I mean, he could be a throwaway. And before we go any farther... I'm not even gonna look at his stats yet. Geber. Uh, you know what? We're gonna call him... <laughs> Bandai... The fourth. Oh, his stats are actually not terrible. Bandai the fourth. Okay. Is this the charm, guys? Is Bandai the fourth going to be our next step? <laughs> For, I'm really struggling thinking that he will. But I'm going to act as if he has the real potential. Willie, I don't think you need the straw hat. You're hatless. No, we'll give you we'll give you still a hat. In fact, there we go. We'll go back to that. But now he ha now he's useful to some capacity. And we'll keep him in the middle kind of protecting him. Max. Ugh, Max, you're killing me, man. I keep looking at you thinking maybe we should just say goodbye. Cut ties. I won't cut ties with him. I'll let him die on the battlefield honorably, of course. Dang, these prices are pretty good. Let's get rid of this trash here. Uh, picks at pickaxes, we don't need that right now. Get rid of that madness. Mm, the butcher, the, the cleaver, uh, it depends on the mission. Hmm, what else? The full, uh, ki kaiden? How do you say that? A Aiken? Aiken? Aiken cap? I'm not sure how to say that. Um, we could go with more shields, uh, you could always have more shields, but right now we are out of ammunition. That is going to be helpful. That's a lot of money for ammunition, but I think we can spare it. We're going to spare it. Get rid of that. It has absolutely zero. I don't know why we still have it in our inventory. Mm, yeah, let's just, let's just take what we got here. We could become good friends with these guys. I don't know that we will. Uh, now it's a matter of, do we go three days north? I'm going to say no. I really want to build relations out here. I don't know what's out in this space, 
So let's just continue along the road in hopes that we come across something. Holy cow. A hundred crowns. Man, we are really blowing the crowns out right now. Okay. So far, so far the fog of war has, has taken, well, I keep thinking maybe, no, okay. All right, there's a little town here. Cheddar no longer suffers. Cheddar, my man. Cheddar. You you continuously impress me. The harbor, it says the harbor is destroyed, but apparently not. Okay, we do need some tools. We are not buying tools here. That is insanity. Oh, you want me to deliver something? 80 crowns. We're going to take this. Where is it at? We're going to go right back to where we were. That's all right. We're going to lose that essentially. 100 crowns. We'll lose it. But again, we are doing favors. All we're trying to build is this relationship. We will be friends with the Southern House. Um, you know what? I'm curious. I'm curious of what this what this house actually stands for. Let's see here. Judge not. Most members of the House of Am Amant. Not sure. Uh, live secluded behind. A thick doors and bar barred windows and some of them not oh wait have not been seen for years rumor has it that their noble blood is plagued with madness and, and insanity but no ordinary man dares to utter such claims in fear of their vengeance other noble houses mainly avoid contact to house Amant. I'm not sure how to say it as guests may be greeted with open arms as well as a crossbow bolts I in that is not what I was expecting. Okay, firm of purpose. Let's see here. The Bergengar. Bergengar. I'm not sure. Bergengar is hated is hated by many, but feared by even more. A number of small and big uprisings have been put down with fire and sword, and the Bergen Bergengar, however you say it, henchmen are known to have eyes that are very shady, cornered, corner and ear in every wall. Eyes in every in every shady corner. I'm sorry. Uh, the family ancestral home of Gunborg is swarming with armed guards, sniffing war dogs, and bulky mercenaries to protect their paranoid leaders. Okay, I feel like this where we're living right now is probably the epitome of hell. <laughs> we got one house that likes to be hidden, another house that likes to be on guard at every time, uh, with. I don't know, they're hated. It almost reminds me of the Lannisters in uh, Game of Thrones. Okay. He stands by his own powers. Okay, here we go. The Noble House of Harkin. There we go, I can actually say that one. Is a proud and unrelenting family with long and blood-stained history of conquest. Seated their fortress of Galfest. Uh, uh, they take with arms what they, they consider theirs by right. An ancestral feud with the House Bergengar <laughs> provides never-ending reasons to keep both hate in the hearts and ore smelters burning. Okay, so these guys seem like probably the most, I don't even know, most middle of the road. But ultimately they're all just kind of freaks it seems. Okay, moving on. Let's move to... I feel like Hollandstead doesn't really... or Hollandsland... Holland's land isn't exactly our home to to be close to. Oh, they get another quest for us. Okay, you want us to fight something? What terrorizes? Guys, I think we'll do this. We'll tear. We'll figure out what's terrorizing, and then we'll call it a day for the vids. So let's see what's going on. I haven't saved in a while, so let's save quick. Save scum. You got it. And they're web necks. Now, ultimately the silk we just want to sell, but we would I would like to get the poison glands. We got nine of them. We should be fine. I wish it was during the day, however. Hmm. Do we move up? F mm, one, two. Either way, there. <gasps> they're gonna get the hits. 
If we kill one of them, let's just move up one. Okay. Okay. Set up our... Just like this. Hmm. Oh, I was hopeful. Very hopeful. Alright. And we are missing, missing, missing. Oh man, we are missing. Cool. That's good. That's a good set for us. Good job, Max. It's as much as I could really hope for out of you. I may want to go up and around. We didn't get to, they didn't apply the poison, so that's good. Um, being that he's already going to run. Let's just cause some damage there. They do have the egg sacs. Situation at hand. Oof. I really want that kill. Okay, eight on eight right now. One's running, so technically, you know, seven guys. They've got their webs moving. We can if we can get a good few kills here. Oof. I almost Hmm. Yeah, those adjacent foes are not helpful. He didn't even try to weapon. Sweet. Oh. Okay. Get the kills. Yeah, where are you going? There we go. Alright. Situation is fair. Got to cause a little bit of. Oh, what a waste. Very wasteful. Actually, dog, I think you shouldn't run away. <laughs> Okay, now we got him at here. Better for him to hit him. We didn't really get much for egg sacks. I mean, we didn't really get anything here. We have a 50% more chance to get something, and we are not quite knocking that out of the park. In fact, we're just not knocking that out of the park. I'm hoping... Okay, yeah, I was like, man, please be over. Mm, that's unfortunate, just these two. Well, irregardless, we still got something out of this. Let's go back to town. We are making an impact with this house a little bit, just moving around. Okay. And making some money as well. Let's see, we did get a level up Dawson, my man. That's what I'm talking about. Um, again, defense, defense, and this melee. Alright, so where do we go with him? 
We don't have any interest, obviously, in the range skill. Melee is going to be huge for him. Uh, being a shield expert is great. I'm curious about this perk here, Escape Artist. Uh, others see it as magic. You defend er, with your deft hands to know better. Grant, um, grants immunity to all rooting effects, including nets and webs. Does that include the Kraken? That is the ultimate question. Because th literally Dawson would be next level. I, I want Dawson for the late game. No no two two ways about it. But the but does it do that? Um What else do we want to do with you though? Now we have this opportunity. This is pretty cool, steadfast. The fatigue loss getting hit or missed by regular attacks is reduced by ninety percent. That's huge. That's pretty sweet. Um causing more strikes, more hits fast adaptation as much as he's going to get those upgrades to his defense i don't know that we need that recover is going to be a for sure thing every brother should have recover in my opinion but that's just me i it's a big deal but this is huge getting hit will not take away his his fatigue i'm going to go with recover I know that it's a it's a it's a perk that we can have for a long time. I'm gonna I want to utilize that. All right. Well, with that being said, we do need to pick a town and become friends with them. I don't see a town that really stands out to me besides uh, Sandstead. And this is just a kingdom. Hmm. Interesting. Well. There might be, there's going to be towns somewhere in here. I really want to find a town that has a barracks. Or not a barracks, I just saw this military barracks. But something that is going to give us f possible famed weapons in the future. And the prices that are going to be compatible. Ooh, is that, what's this? Oh boy, what do we got down here? Ah, nothing of worth really. Nothing crazy. Killer on the run. Let's see here, another caravan hands. Could go, uh, there's a few ways that we could go. But hey guys, we'll figure that out next time. Again, this is the hem, er, oh man, I almost, almost went a different route here. This is the um, Puggle Reborn channel. And thanks for coming out. And please, if you could, hit the like, subscribe. Just help me out with this channel, growing it, if you guys believe in this what I'm trying to do. I, I greatly appreciate it. Other than that, have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!